This is a video lesson for area under velocity time and acceleration time graphs. The learning target for this lesson is, I am learning to calculate displacement by finding the area under a velocity time graph, and average velocity by finding the area under an acceleration time graph. The success criteria for this lesson are, I can calculate the area under the velocity time graph to find the displacement over time, and I can calculate the area under an acceleration time graph to find the average velocity over time. All right, so let's talk about calculating the area under the curve of a velocity time graph to find displacement over time. So we can calculate the area under a velocity time graph in two ways. We can do it mathematically using delta x is equal to the average velocity times delta t, or we can do it geometrically. We're going to look at both ways. So we're going to start in this example using the mathematical formula. So we're talking about delta x is equal to the average velocity times delta t. So we're talking about average velocity here, and since this graph is in two pieces, so we have these two chunks, we got to do both chunks separately. So our average velocity for this first chunk is 2 meters per second. So we have delta x, we'll call it delta x1, is equal to 2 meters per meters per second times delta t, which is also two seconds. So that's four meters, is meters per second, and then seconds cancel, so we have four meters. And then for delta x2, we have the average velocity here is six meters per second times we have five seconds minus two seconds so that's three seconds so that gives us 18 meters so our total delta x then is going to be four meters plus 18 meters for a total of 22 meters so that's the way to do it mathematically in this case. So here we're going to do it. So here we're going to solve the problem geometrically. So we're going to find the area of these two sections. So remember the area of a triangle, or excuse me, the area of a rectangle is base times height. So we have the base of section one is two seconds and the height is two meters per second so that gives us an area of four meters and then the area of the second section is going to be equal so the base is three seconds times six meters per second, which gives us 18 meters. So 18 meters plus four meters gives us the total 22 meters, which is what we got in the first way. So you can see the two methods are pretty similar to each other. Uh, they look pretty similar. It's just uh, kind of thinking about it in two different ways. Uh, but you get the same answer either way. So here's a slightly different case. We've got a changing velocity now. So um, we're going to do this the mathematical way again. So delta x is equal to the average velocity times delta t. So because you have a changing velocity here, um, you can find the average for the initial and final velocities. 
Uh, and this only works for constant acceleration only. So if you have a constant slope, basically. So first we're gonna find the average of the initial and final velocity. So our final velocity is five meters per second. Our initial velocity is zero meters per second. You're gonna take the average of that. There's two of those. So that gives us an average velocity of five, uh, 2.5 meters per second. So if we look at our delta x here, so we have delta x is equal to 2.5 meters per second times our delta t, which is five. So 2.5 times five is equal to, final displacement is 12.5 meters. Okay, so now if we do this geometrically, the area of a triangle is one half times base times height. So our base here is this five seconds. So our area is going to be one half times five seconds times the height is five meters per second. So five times five is 25 divided by two is equal to 12.5 meters. So this area under here, which we just calculated is 12.5 meters, just as we figured the last time. So we can calculate the area under the curve of an acceleration time graph to find change of velocity under time, similarly to how we found the displacement over time using uh, finding using the area under a curve of a velocity time graph. So we calculate the area under an acceleration time graph in two ways, just like we calculated the area under a, a velocity time graph in two ways. So using delta V is equal to the average acceleration times delta T, or we can do it geometrically. Okay, so first we'll do it mathematically. So we have delta V is equal to acceleration average times delta T. So our average acceleration here is, so delta V is equal to two meters per second squared. And then our change in time is five seconds. So that gives us a delta V of 10 meters per second. Pretty straightforward. And now we'll do it geometrically. So we're trying to find the area underneath this curve or underneath this graph. So again, remember that the area of a rectangle is base times height. So our base is five seconds. So area is equal to base. So that's five seconds times height is two meters per second squared. So two times five is 10 and the seconds cancel, one of the seconds cancels and we're left with 10 meters per second, which is our velocity change over time. So there you have it. All right, everybody, keep asking questions. It's how you learn new things.